What's up everyone, I'm back with you another video now with this one. I'm ranking all four of the Expendables movies from worst to best. Now I'm kind of a big fan of this franchise. And I love how this franchise has all the big action stars, or well, most of the big action stars, or most of all the big action stars from the 80s and 90s. And um, that's what I enjoy about this franchise a lot. And the action sequences, for the most part, are spectacular. Now, without further ado, let's begin the shrinking. Coming at number four is, unfortunately, The Expendables 4. I really, really wanted to love this film. This is one of those prime examples of, well, just because it's already doesn't make it a great movie. So, yeah, The Expendables 4 has some good acting sequences here and there, but a lot of these acting sequences are are quick cut, like, are choppy. A lot of the acting sequences in this film are noticeable and choppy. Like, they're, they're noticeable. Like, there's a lot of bad acting scenes in this film. And there are some good here and there, but the CGI stuff in this film, we don't need CGI stuff in an expendable film. We really don't need that. There's a really good car chase scene. I enjoy that whole scene. There's like the fighting sequences in that one, um, in that one car chase scene, which I really do enjoy. But this movie was just bland, and this movie wasn't really that good. Um, so yeah, I do have a review up on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't checked that out, please check that out. But it's my least favorite. Even the villain. Isn't uh, like Eco White as a villain wasn't even that great, and all the Expendables movies supposed to have a great villain. Eco White, he's a great martial artist and stuff, but he wasn't a great villain. Coming in at my number three is the Expendables three. Now, um, this film, on the other hand, has more enjoyable moments than the Expendables four did, even though. They toned it down to PG-13 in The Expendables 3. They still have some fun acting sequences throughout this film. Of course, you know, Jason Statham and Stallone are my favorite, some of my favorite acting stars in The Expendables franchise. And also, that's another positive. In The Expendables 4 is Jason Statham. He was great in it, but yeah. Now, move on, moving on to The Expendables 3. The Expendables 3 now. This film does have some. This film does have some great action, some entertaining characters, and and all that stuff in it. Now, the villain, Mel Gibson as a villain, was a great villain. I enjoyed him as a villain. I really don't got a lot of negatives, other than they toned a lot of stuff down in this film. But other than that, I think it's a fun film, and I do like that fight scene between Sylvester Stallone and. Uh, Mel Gibson, that was a good fight scene, so yeah. The Expendables 3, it's not as bad as people make it out to be. I enjoy it. But it's not as good as 1 and 2, in my opinion. Coming up at number 2 is the, the original Expendables. Now, this film, um, of course, Sylvester Stallone directed it. The He directed the first Expendables movie. And that, that's probably why there's a lot of serious moments in The Expendables, um, in the original Expendables. And um, this is probably the most serious-toned Expendables film out of the whole franchise. Um, but yeah, this film has some great action sequences. Um, Stone Cold Steve Austin as the villain was great. The explosions, the, you, there are some noticeable CGI sprinkled in there, but... But there are also a lot of great action sequences throughout this film. So yeah, and it's exactly what I wanted the Expendables to be. Just a fun, kickback action film. That's a throwback action film to the 80s and 90s. Still loved about it. And Jason Statham, he was also great in this film as well. As Stallone, and you had Jet Li. All of those awesome action stars in one movie. You got Dolph Lundgren, of course. The Expendables, the original, is incredible. And I'm disappointed that they didn't bring 
um, Jet Li back in the Expendable Four, but yeah, but very enjoyable film. I really enjoyed the first Expendables. So coming up at number one is the Expendables Two. This film had everything I want out of an Expendables movie. The acting scenes were bigger, and better than ever, and the explosions were great. The fight scenes were top notch. You have Scott Atkins in there as one of the villains. You have John Claude Van Damme as the main villain, and John Claude Van Damme stole the show as the villain. And um, you got a fight scene towards the end between Jason Statham and Scott Atkins, and you got a really, really good fight scene. One of the actually the best fight scene in my opinion in the whole Expendables franchise, and that is. John claude Van Damme or Stallone versus John claude Van Damme. That whole fight scene at the end was freaking amazing, and I like how there are some tongue-in-cheek moments in this film. They didn't take this film too seriously, so I enjoy that. And this film was just amazing. I freaking love The Expendables too. It's probably always going to be my number one, unless they end up making Expendables five and then they managed to fix the problems that they had with the Expendables 4, then who knows, it could be better than Part 2. But the Expendables 2 is my number one of the Expendables franchise. So yeah, let me know in the comments below, what are y'all, like, what y'all's rankings of the Expendables franchise? So yeah, I guess that for this video. If y'all enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe and share. Also hit the bell, same on the videos uploaded. Peace out. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I guess I'm out.